This is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the miniature hydrogen system that I've been working with trying to produce something that will sell for $30 or less. I've had a number of emails trying to get me to produce something for less money so they could get involved with the project. This system might do the trick. This has two electrodes. The one on the left and the one on the right is stainless steel with a stainless steel screw that goes through it. It's tapped through it. This will separate hydrogen and oxygen, the hydrogen on one side and the oxygen on the other. I've been trying to work out a system to get other people involved with this project. And to do that, it has to be for less money. This obviously is a miniature unit. It's for demonstration purposes. I've had a number of people ask me if I could make something that would put the hydrogen into a balloon, and this probably will do it. I don't know yet. I haven't really tested it out. What you're seeing here is right after assembly. So I've got to do some tests on it. Because of the plate size, I have a feeling it's going to produce a lot more hydrogen than I expected. The two tubes are sealed or glued to the base, and the top is sealed with a plastic tube that comes out on both sides. If all goes well, what I should have is oxygen on one side and hydrogen on the other. Actually, there'll be no question with that. The question is just how much. And the problem is to get it so it's easy to seal. To make this unit to sell for $30, it has to be really easy to assemble, which is one of the problems you run into when you're trying to put something together. I'm sure there'll be some changes in it. If anybody who's watching this video thinks it's worth that $30, please let me know. Please send me an email. What I'd like to know is whether it's worth even pursuing this. While you're looking at this, I'm putting together the pulse system for the other units. It's become quite a project, and I've had to transform my lab strictly for it. The pulse system that I'm working on is mounted on plastic, and it's going to be pretty massive. So it's taken me a while to get everything in order so I can video it. But in the next few days, I will be showing that system, or at least showing the progress I've made in putting it together. There's a lot of, a lot of electronic components involved with a pulse system. And I'm trying to get everything together. Changing the lab over for the electronic side has been a little more work than I thought it would be. But once I'm set up for the Pulse system, things are going to take an entirely different look. Again, what you're looking at here is the miniature hydrogen separation system. Hydrogen on one side, oxygen on the other. The only thing that may be required in this system is some form of electrolyte, which would be easy to put in there. An electrolyte being salt or any of the things that we've been using in the past. I didn't really want to have to use it, but it Whenever you separate the plates as far apart as this, the odds are that I will have to use some form of electrolyte. But it will be interesting to work with. 
send me an email, let me know what you think or whether you think I'm wasting my time on this.